All right, guys. The Edge on Blades here. I'm about the Fisher Space Pen. Uh, I had already filmed this video and uploaded it, and of course, because my internet didn't work, it um I didn't post. So I'm filming it again. Um, I actually had filmed it a couple days ago, and I just got around to it again. So instead of talking for you know my 15 minutes that I normally do, I'm just gonna try to do a short review. Um, for this, and hopefully, uh, you guys will like that. I'm not sure. Definitely comment and tell me if you like it, or I just talk about it briefly, or talk about it for a long time. So here's the packaging it comes in. Um, just pretty cool packaging. It's got uh, the moon here, and then an orbital line, and then the, the pen is right here in the middle. So Earth, Moon, and um, and if you want to pause it, you can read what it says right there. And there's the back. It just shows how it works uh, with the pressurized ink right there. Basically, there's gas and then a ball bearing that slides up and pushes the ink out. So I'm not going to read all this stuff. I'm just going to go over real quick. Uh, the Fisher Space Pen is the ultimate dependability. Every space pen is guaranteed to perform in temperatures from negative 30 degrees to 250 degrees Fahrenheit underwater in zero gravity at every angle, even upside down. Its reliability means it's the only pen you'll ever need. So, of course, I've been using this, um, so it is opened. But I opened it, so I can just take it out for the, or put it back in for the review. So here's the pen. I'll get some paper down here. So this is it. Um, this is the black version. I had a silver version, and there are some differences I'll talk about briefly at the end. But I'll just talk about the black one for right now. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty small when it's closed, and then cap pulls off. And here's the pen itself. Just flip it around and put the uh, cap on the other side and becomes a you know nice size pen it's a uh, pretty secure it's not gonna like fall off if I whip it around and um, So that's how it writes um, pretty smoothly. Um, now, one thing with this ink is that it does smear a little bit, um, and that usually only happens. I uh, see it happen right here on the T. That's because that's where I first started it, and just from sitting in, you know, in the packaging or if you had it in your pocket. Uh, sometimes a little bit of ink will build up right there on the very tip. So when you first touch it, it'll leave a dab. Um, if you don't want that, you know, if it's an important paper, you can just wipe that off on your finger before you work on it. But that's how it writes. Um, I'm not going to show you it writing upside down because obviously it is going to do that. But I'll show you what makes it the Fisher Space Pen. When you unscrew this part here, and this is the pressurized ink cartridge itself. So I'll just take that out, put the parts to the pen right here so you can see them all. And then I'll bring this down. Okay. So here's the. Uh, the ink cartridge itself. You can see uh, it says black. Yeah, try to get it so you can read that. Black refill, send $5 to Fisher Space Pen, and it gives their address and website on there. So that's all this is is a pressurized ink, ink pen. And this can be put into other type pens if you want to put it in a clicker pen or whatnot. That is. You can do that. Um, most, if you just buy the uh, the ink by itself, it'll come with an adapter, so you can put it on Parker style pens and things like that. So here's the uh, uh, writing part. 
put it in. And then the end cap here. Screw it on. Quite a few screws, actually. There's probably 10 turns on there. And here's just a close up of the black one. You can see the O ring right here. Um, it's not a full O ring, there's a little notch in there right there and that's to allow the air to escape as you're putting it back on it's just it lets enough air out that it it doesn't want to slide back open but that is the black Fisher Space Pen the only difference with the silver one is that first of all it's all silver um, like a bright chrome look and right here starting from about right here all the way up to about right there are very deep grooves um, etched in and it's uh, actually one continuous groove that just spirals all the way up to the top here and that is for grip because um, the silver pen is much is, is very slick whereas this pen it, it's a it's pretty slick but it's it's got a grippier feel to it so that is the Fisher Space Pen. The only real negative with this is that it is completely round. There's no pocket clip on it. So, wow, my camera's just going everywhere. So um, it rolls quite a bit, actually. Um, it's, it's hard to get it to stand in one spot, you know, if you set it down to write on it. But uh, the only thing is this that little notch can be used if you want to just balance it on there that'll keep it from rolling but there's my attempt at a quick review of the Fisher Space Pen and if you can believe it which I'm sure you can if you watch my videos but I I rambled on about this for uh, 14 minutes the first time I did the review so I cut that in half um, so hopefully you like it you know if you wanna if you want me to go more in depth and go back to the uh, you know, do another review that's more in depth that you're used to if you like what I previously have done. Uh, definitely let me know. But that is all I have on this. One thing I'm going to mention real quick is that I did finally get her hound. And if you if you've been watching the channel since it came up, I was going to order something off the internet, um, like a goodie bag and I finally got around to ordering it so when that gets in I'll tell you all about it and I'll have an unboxing video but um, thank you all for watching and I uh, hope you come back for more